there, welcome to the Center for Healthcare Innovations. Come on in, let me give you a tour of our lab. So this here is our microscope room, even though it has a lot more than that. In this room, we have a Nikon fluorescent inverted microscope with a max magnification of 40x. It allows us to see the inside of the cell and light up different cell structures. We also have a Nikon stereo microscope that we use to image the scaffolds that we see the cells on. Because of the relatively large size of the scaffolds, we have a microscope that can image in lower magnifications between 4x to 10x. In this room, we have a flow cytometer and two microplate readers. These machines allow us to detect the chemical or physical properties of cells, particles, or their supernatants. This is super helpful when we're trying to quantify what our treatments are doing to the cells. Let's move on to one of the more unique locations in the lab. This is our 3D culture room. Here, we perform more advanced cell culture techniques. The incubators in this room are set up with different conditions to allow us to electrically stimulate cells, perform microfluidic cultures, or culture cells under hypoxic environments. To the left, we also have the Alevi, which is a special bioprinter that can directly 3D print structures with cells. In the other half of the room, we have the EVOS. This is a unique microscope that enables us to live image cells. In the back, we have a brand new spinning disc confocal microscope. This C10 microscope is the state of the art and can take time lapse, C stack, or montage images. Here, we have our electrospinning setup where we can create nanofiber meshes for cell culture. We typically make these nanofibers by mixing proteins such as collagen or chitosan with polycaprolactam. All right, now let's head to the PCR room. This is our PCR room where we extract DNA or RNA from cells. Once we have extracted that genetic information, we have the nano drop that uses absorbance to determine how much DNA or RNA we extracted. In this room, we have everything needed to perform a polymerase chain reaction to amplify specific genes in the DNA. All the basic equipment needed to perform the PCR COVID tests we have right here in this room. Outside the PCR room, we have our Western Blot Suite. This area we use to identify and quantify protein expression. We recently purchased the Lycor Odyssey, which is primarily used for Western Blot membrane imaging. But this can be used for so much more than that. This here is our 3D printing suite, where we have a collection of different homemade and industrial 3D printers. Here we have a standard FDM printer that can print large-scale scaffolds out of traditional polymer filaments for applications such as treating segmental bone defects. However, to print smaller, more intricate scaffolds, our lab designed two custom 3D printers to print less traditional biomaterials for unique purposes, like printing blood vessel networks or tissue mimicking scaffolds to the scale of 20 microns. Lastly, we have an inkjet printer that can be used to precisely deposit biomolecules on different substrates. This allows us to direct the growth and migrations of cells, or it can locally control the location of tissue regeneration. All of these printers are used for cutting edge research that has been published in top tier journals. This is our graduate student office. Here, graduate students spend their time collaborating and it's also the location of our group meetings. And as we walk down here, you'll find the wet chemistry room. The wet chemistry room is where we synthesize many nanoparticles. This room has two fume hoods that are meant to provide students protection during chemical handling and manipulation. We also recently set up a plasma chamber for surface treatments of different materials. A lot of the other key equipment used for nanomaterial synthesis can be found on the benches. 
This includes the digital rotary evaporator, different types of sonicators, and our ultra centrifuge, which is capable of generating very high accelerations. We use a lot of these equipments to synthesize, modify, and characterize our nanoparticles for a wide variety of applications, including treating cancer. Last but not least, we have our 2D culture room. This room is very similar to the 3D culture room, but in here, we focus more on culturing and growing ourselves under more traditional methods. For example, we grow our cells here in flasks or culture plates. The main equipment we have here are the biosafety cabinets, the incubators, a 20x magnification microscope, and a centrifuge so we can passage cells. Thank you for coming. We hope to see you again.